etc. Um, so uh, after this, um, White took my took my knight, and uh, I took uh, took back with the d pawn. Fritz actually prefers me taking with the b pawn, I guess, uh, because it op it can open up um, potential uh, threats on the queen and stuff. But I preferred you know to take with the d just to get my my bishop active. Now um. I'm not going to get into this too deeply, just in the interest of time, but, um, but Fritz here liked, um, knight d4, which I also liked the best, but it looks a little scary because I can hit it with the pawn, um, and, uh, you know, if it moves, if it moves, uh, it can't come here because of the bishop, and if it moves here, it's just allowing me to trade another piece, or maybe even hit it again with the bishop. Or maybe even hit it with the pawn, and if uh, knight takes here, then I'm gonna fix my pawns. So, um, so Steve here just jumped back to g1, and uh, now I played uh, queen g5, which uh, Fritz also likes. So I'm, I'm just getting lots of love from Fritz here. Um, basically, just um, pinning this the d pawn, hitting this pawn, um, forcing a kingside weakness with uh, g3. Um, King F1 is also possible, but then White's not going to be able to castle. Um, here I played Bishop E6, hitting the Queen, and this Knight's really doing a good service here. Uh, he's protecting this pawn. He's protecting this pawn, um, and uh, so the Queen can't take the pawn. Queen backs up to uh, C2. Here I play. Uh, here I, I play. I think a bad move. Um, Fritz likes all, all the moves. Fritz likes are queen moves: queen h5, queen f6, or queen f5. Um, I uh, I was thinking the best move would probably be rook d8, but that's not even on the Fritz's top um, three moves. I played bishop d5 here, which isn't terrible, but um, I, I I don't know. I I feel like I should have developed another piece. Although Fritz thinks I should have moved my queen, but um. Here uh, I thought um, knight h3 was the best move, but um, um, Steve played uh, h4. Try, I guess trying to gain more space for his rook and his his knight uh, knights come out. I played queen f6. Here he played uh, rook h2, just uh, getting his uh, rook out of the discovery here. And um, now here I here I castled, uh, castled queen side. Um, B3 was played, which uh, I thought was the best move. I actually suggested this move to Steve because um, I couldn't really see another plan um, to get developed. The idea is um, to put the bishop here and uh, hit the queen. And I, I actually played G6 um, with the idea that if he puts his bishop here, I'm going to put my bishop there and shut off uh, the possibility of C4 because I'm just going to take the bishop, queen will take and then uh bishop will take and then the rook is trapped so um he but he went ahead with it and I, I went ahead with um my idea and uh here played knight e2 just trying to get all his pieces out and get to some kind of safety keep in mind um he's only he's only a pawn one pawn down here um positionally he's much worse but he's only a pawn down here and against a player of near his own rating, he might be able to pull out a win, you know, because weaker players, they, they don't necessarily, and I'm not saying, oh, I'm a strong, strong player. I mean, when, you know, if I was playing an expert or a master or something, I might have a position this winning, which Fritz says is equivalent of being a piece up, and I might blow it. Um, I like to think I wouldn't, but uh, it's important not to just quit. That's one of the distinguishing features as you get higher up in the ranks. People are less and less likely to quit in an unclear, in a complex position, even if one side's clearly better, like black is here. So, um, anyways, it's white's move. Oh, no, excuse me, black's move. And here I played knight f, queen f3. Oh, here was where I feel like I should have brought um, rook e8, just... Although it's not Fritz's first choice. Fritz's first choice so far, I'm just having a thinking, is bishop e, e6. Um... I guess with the idea of maybe swinging over here, but after I made this move, I thought, yeah, this is just not that great a move, and Fritz agrees it drops me 
over a pawn actually making this. It's just um, my idea was a little too long-winded to to move my queen out of the way so I could play f f5, then bring my knight to f2, then bring my knight here, and then bring my knight here. But that's really long-winded a plan. And if you if you end up making these really long-term plans in a, in a position where you have a dynamic advantage, sometimes your opponent can wriggle out and you just lose your uh, you can lose your edge. Now here um, here white gets some space. He plays c4 um, and bishop b2 seems like the only move. Sacrificial ideas here uh, just I, I, I calculated that they just didn't give me enough and uh, the computer agrees with me there so I took the bishop queen takes and now play bishop b6 pretty much the only move unless I want to do the sacrifice now which I don't um, now uh, white can bring his, his, his knight out to a good square um, now here I played uh, I played f5 um, finally you know hoping to get my idea done remember the knight here 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 um, would be really strong um, white plays uh, knight d4 which actually now my advantage is down to uh, just just about a pawn. In fact, Fritz at this moment, as it's, it it refines its. Oh wait, no, not anymore. Oh right, wow, it didn't even see that move right away. Yeah, it didn't even see that move right away. This is actually at first Fritz liked this move, but I, I think I saw the line even faster than Fritz. Sorry, I'm kind of talking and not that thoroughly looking. I'm I'm, I'm kind of looking at the move list and stuff, but yeah, this was actually a blunder here because. Um, it allows me to win another pawn and simplify the game to my advantage um, by playing knight takes c4 and the point is that uh, I'm discovering this move discovers an attack on the knight and so if white takes takes the knight then I'm gonna take his knight with the um, I'm gonna take his knight with the rook and um, but taking the queen is even worse because I'm gonna take his queen and with queens off the board, uh, material advantage usually becomes even more significant. It's it's easier to win a game because there's less possibilities of tricks without the queens on the board. Because the queens, especially in the times game, although we didn't play with the clock on this game, the queens are very um, very tricky pieces. Just very hard to keep track of all their possibilities. Um, of course, if if you have if you think you have mating threats. Um, it's, you should keep the queens on the board, and if you have a much more active position, you can keep the queens on the board. But this position's kind of locked up, and and um, this pretty much secures my win. 